Don't make little John wait. This is a king. Little John. Welcome, man. Come on in. We're on the air now. All right. Yeah, dude. Make I'll yourself comfortable right wherever you want. How's it going? It's early as hell. It is. That's what it is. You're not an early riser. Hell no. No. I get up at noon. No. You get up at noon? Like 11. That's nice. Because <laughs> I feel like your first crossover to mainstream success, like you were doing crunk forever, right. and then what really crossed you over to almost pop music was when you had college girls yelling about sweat dripping down their balls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's still a big record. I can I play that record now, and you hear the whole club singing the lyrics and pointing to the window to the wall. Right. But when you're writing these lyrics, and they're like the raunchiest lyrics you've ever heard, and then you're looking around the club, and there's girls singing these lyrics like it's nothing. Are you going like, what are you, what are you doing? No, nah, I mean... The Yin Yang Twins wrote that hook, but it's still, it was just catchy. It was just like a nursery rhyme. It was a dirty nursery rhyme, right. basically. So it's like, it's so catchy and infectious, you have to, you're going to chant it. So I don't know. Is that the secret to make something that's catchy enough? Because girls will obviously chant whatever if it's catchy. Right. But dirty enough, the guys will be like, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that the secret to... I think guys just... If the, if the women are partying, then the guys don't give... You know, they don't right, they don't shit. care. They just want to... They following the girls. The girls dance and they shaking their asses. Right. Twerking. As twerking. They say, twerking, as they say these days. Right. Um, then they're watching and they don't give a damn. You have to stay up on all that, by the way. Like, you have to know what yeah. twerking is before I know what twerking is. is We've it... been saying twerking in the South for, for 15, almost 20 years. Is that what's happening? You're just yeah. waiting for everybody else to kind of catch up? with what... <laughs> It's a southern term, and it, it just means the booty pop. Is, mean... it, is it difficult, though, to keep up now because you're kind of... You're you're more of a mainstream celebrity level guy, and you're an older guy now than you were. Yeah. Is that at all? Is it difficult to keep up with what's cool? It's definitely a little hard. It's harder because you know the the new generation. The music is a, is a lot different from when I was around, and so much has changed. But I got like a I got a 15 year old son. Mm -hmm. So okay, he so will turn me on to stuff like he turned me on to Kendrick Lamar mm -hmm. and a bunch of other stuff, and I'm like, wow. So I, it's crazy that I got to go to my son to find out what's the next or what's the underground right. thing. It's like I feel like the, the old guy now, uh -huh. you know, but. What do you think about how big Scissor has kind of gotten now? Like that kind of, uh, that was another thing that started. I'm sure you were aware of Scissor yeah. from way back. Yeah, I and used to go to Texas a lot, and it was funny. I, sometimes I'd be in a club in Houston, and i just see people just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that syrup they was on that lean uh -huh. and they just sleep <laughs> in the club sleep like I'm like what the hell and they're uh -huh. like that's that syrup man so they, yeah they've been doing that forever too in the south and, and mainly in Texas then it started to spread out. Now it's all over the place. I never touch that stuff. You don't? No. Nah. Why? Is I don't want to be sleeping. <laughs> right, because you see these people asleep in the club and you're like, I'd rather be wired. I drink tequila, Don Julio. Somebody's liable to be taken advantage of in that position. <laughs> For real. You're just an alcohol guy? Yeah, I just drink Don Julio tequila, man. A lot it, of tequila. Is there any lyric, when you're writing lyrics, is there any time when you're like, because I would imagine when you're first starting, you're like, okay, I really got to think about these lyrics and put, and then you kind of realize, no, I got to be as simple as humanly possible. Is there any lyric that you've ever been like, this is, this is too simple. There's no way that something as basic as this. Yeah, when I did a, a I did a really big song on my album called Lovers and Friends with Usher and Ludacris. <laughs> right, it's a line in the in the song. I said, up in the bathtub, rubber dubbing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I was like, fuck it, it works. Fuck it. Yeah. And then some people in the beginning were like, uh. What the fuck is he talking yeah. about? And then the song was just huge, and it was crazy to me. When people would play the song, that's the lyric that stuck out the most out of everything Usher said, everything Luda said. It was you you can fade the, the fader over and the whole club is in the bathtub. Brother, brother. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's fucking crazy. You just really don't know. Yeah, you just don't know sometimes. Yeah. How amazing was it when that Dave Chappelle skit took off of him just going, you know, yeah, what? I mean, I mean that every time I see Dave, I thank him because he helped me to 
go places music would never have been able to take me. Like, yeah. And it's and it's classic, and that is going to be around forever as well. And it's still hilarious. People didn't know who Lil John was, and they were doing the impression. Then they right. found out there was a real Lil John, and they were like, "Oh shit!" Right. He really is this guy too. Right. And it was awesome to go on the show and um, to actually do myself with <laughs> right, him. Right. Right. You know, we to improv with one of the great comedians of our time is mm -hmm. who can say they've done that? Not a lot of people. But you were smart too because like I feel like a lot of people would have been like, look, I want everybody to know. I'm a lot more than what Dave Chappelle makes me look <laughs> like. I don't walk around with that chalice everywhere. I say more. But you were like, no, I'm gonna do it even more. <laughs> Whatever he's yeah. doing, I'm gonna do it more. I mean, he it was great advertisement for me. Yeah. And it and and like like I said that it, it set people up to see the other side because people were like, is he really like that? Because he, <laughs> he really get really intelligent. Yeah. You know? Does he have a British accent? He, <laughs> he? It's amazing. The lights in here when you're just laughing. Like How many, how much, how, how much is that girl worth? Do you say? No, I don't, I don't really know because, uh, what's the carrot? I don't know. I actually don't know. He's got, little John has like his first, like, f is it just two or his first four teeth? Oh, like, Oh. One, two, three, four, and then and then the fangs come down. And they're long fangs, yeah. but they're all. Is it gold and diamonds? Yeah, gold and diamonds, white and yellow diamonds. Does it take you a long time to learn to talk with it? I think. I mean, I had a grill so long. It's like, I think when I first started, I had the little this and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you get used. And to it. And it was probably a real cheap one at first. Like yeah, it was like it definitely wasn't like this. <laughs> no, like so today for for the ones like you have now, the real deal. Yeah. Do you have to go to a, like a dentist and get fitted? And... No, I go to Paul Wall, the rapper. The rap, Paul Wall. Paul Wall gave me my first grill. Him and Johnny Dank. Uh huh. So, so Paul Wall is like a legit grill dude. He hooked everybody in the industry up with grills. What, before Him he was rapping, or or wow. while he was rapping. Yeah, when when like when they did the song Grills yeah. and the Grills got really extremely That's popular. just an infomercial for him. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Like, so I mean, um yeah, he's hooked everybody up and he's hooked me up for years. Like he's him and Johnny Dang do the best work. Is there a difference like do you, and do they have to like take a mold of your teeth and everything yeah. or they so it's Yeah, so it's, he actually has taken the mold a couple of times <laughs> himself. Yeah, himself, for real. <laughs> like he really does that. So is there a difference like is there like past the point of no return, is there? Can it get so ridiculous that you're like, "That's stupid, man. I don't know why you would do that." Or is it just like, "Yeah, keep going. Yes." I think it's always a ridiculous point. Like T Pain is my homie, but he made a chain that said "Big Ass Chain." I'm like, <laughs> right. T Pain, are you kidding it's me? Stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got that much money where you can make right. a chain that says the "Big." Ass and it was this big. And the words are written in diamonds. Yes. And gold. Yes. And it's like you, you're talking about ten, fifty, a hundred thousand dollars worth of just so yeah. you could just be so stupid. You, yeah. Big ass chain. How much? How how much? How successful do you have to be before you can actually afford to do something like that? Like before, I know because some people will buy the grill first or right. buy the big ass chain first. But you seem like you have a head on your shoulders. Like how how successful do you have to be before? You could when you could do it that it actually makes sense. Well, I think once you I mean, or no, or does it ever make it, sense? It's I mean, always it, it, looking back now at all the jewelry I bought. Like mm -hmm. I'm like, why did I even buy some of that <laughs> stuff? I mean, but I guess you have to be a part of the times, and you know, you have yeah. to represent like your peers. Like you have to, you know, you have a certain status you got to keep up with. So that's part of it. Staying in the mix is a yeah. big, but like it's an me, expensive thing. I don't do the jewelry no more. The only thing I might do is the old school rope chain. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't like the I don't like all the flash anymore. Like I'm not. Well, you've reached that. a point in your career. Like people know who Lil John is. Like you, right. you don't need to have that stuff. But I think with a lot of rappers or people who want to look like rappers, it's just too much attention you draw to yourself and. You you know, back in those days, you had the source awards and all of that type of stuff, and yeah. people get robbed. And, you know, so it was just, it, it's too much.